This is CBS 2 News at 10. Budget cuts have hit many agencies statewide as officials constantly try to figure out how to do more with less. One agency impacted the clerk of court's office. But CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett shows us how things are changing for the better. Jason? Well, Scott, back in 2009, cuts forced clerks' offices around Iowa to lay off workers and reduce hours. But now things are running normally again, much to the delight of people who use the office the most. The clock ticks away at the Lynn County Clerk of Court's office. It's just after 3, and employees here are hard at work serving the public on a Tuesday afternoon. It's been a much different scene for the past four years, says Clerk of Court Roxanne Repstein. They gave us two hours on Tuesday and Thursday with no phone calls, no counter, no interruptions. State staffing cuts meant reduced hours twice a week so employees could catch up on work. It was very difficult for the public to try and work around our hours. Now Repstein says things are different with this year's budget. More funding means more staffing, and now they're back on schedule Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. Visitors to the clerk's office are putting the stamp of approval on the new hours. They say the old hours just weren't allowing them to get their job done in a timely fashion. It was inconvenient. Attorney Mark Reddick says more time means more flexibility. We're in the middle of a case. We need to get something from the clerk's office. Now the clerk's office is open. Others, like Carrie Jones, deal with mortgages across the state. Time is of the essence for her job. If she gets held up on paperwork for a potential homeowner... They may not get their approval through, etc. So the new hours help. So I saw a sign on their door and I was like, yay, I'm going to do a happy dance. <laughs> Now, Repstein says this will increase convenience in the clerk's office and may not necessarily mean cases will be processed faster. However, the state is putting more money this year towards judges, court reporters, and attendants, which may help with efficiency in the courtroom. In the studio, Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News.